What is up, beautiful people? Internet? I'm Wesley. I'm Stephanie. This is Wes and Steph. And today, guys, we are reacting to Pokemon Nuzlocke for our very first time. And we figured what way to do it than reacting to one of our favorite animator, Jaden's retellings of them. I have not played a Pokemon since, like, freaking gold or silver, which was, like, several... Some of you are probably younger than that game. And... I've never played any Pokemon game in my entire life. Any Pokemon game. Any I just Pokemon. found that out right before we pressed record. Not even the cards. Was, you've never even... Owned a card? I think I owned a card. Someone gave me a card, but I never <laughs> played with it. You mean you stole a card? I didn't steal it. That being said, I just found that out. I'm flabbergasted and appalled. So, so this is Stephanie's first time ever like checking this out. Let's go. I've watched this video, but none of the oh, rest. Oh, I watched a TV show. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is the first Pokemon Nuzlocke from Jaden. Let's go. Within okay. the Pokemon community, there's a set of self-imposed rules you can add to the games to make them more challenging, called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. Aww. And you have to nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game under those conditions. I've wanted- Do, do you get understand? So yes. normally like with Pokemon, if you lose a battle, they faint and then you take them and you heal them at a Pokemon Center. Aww. So in this game, if they faint, they're, they're gone. They're Aww, dead. They just die. Does that make sad. sense? So to do a Nuzlocke for the longest time. I've started a couple in the past, but never actually got to finish any because busy. But today's the day that all changes. I decided to make a video on my first full attempt at a Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Let's see how it went. After breaking free from the back of the moving truck my mom stuffed me in what? and introducing myself to the neighbor Brendan, the kid that I always thought was a monkey said that he heard screaming up ahead. Professor Birch is getting mauled by a level 2 Poochiana, so I led his Torchic out and she scratches the crap out of it. He Fire gives me starter. Torchic for rescuing him Aww. and I name her Teriyaki, oh, my first nice. Pokemon. Walking up the route more, I run into Brendan who challenges me to a battle where Teriyaki proceeds to also scratch the crap out of his Mudkip. Good oh. job, Teriyaki. You're two for two. Doing great. Great. Professor Birch gives me five Pokeballs and the Nuzlocke has officially started. I walked back up to catch my first it's Pokemon so and ran into- Dude, isn't Jaden's animation so fucking yes, good? Yes, of course it is. It's so good. It's Zigzagoon. Alright, not the best, but I can work with this. You know, I think we're gonna have a really awesome adventure- <laughs> <laughs> he one-shotted Zigzagoon with a critical so hit scratch, cute. but whatever. Do you get what happened? Yeah, she beat him up. Yeah, but that was the only Pokemon she could catch in this area. Oh. So when she goes, basically, like when she goes to a new area, she can only catch the first Pokemon that she, she encounters there. And then so her tor her she just killed it, so she can't catch it. <laughs> oh. Murder a little bit, all right, guy. Route 102 is right around the corner, and that's where I was able to catch Corn the Sea Dot. Ah, ah. Look at us, couple of friends ready to. Take on the Hoenn region together. <laughs> After watching the weird kid Wally struggle to catch his first Pokemon, oh. I continued on to Route 104 and found a little Taillow in the grass. Aggressive and screams and hungry. Oh, looks like it's gonna oh, poop yeah. on you. I know your name. In yeah, what, it does what, like what did they name him? Which Ari, name? Ari. She has a pet bird in real life. Uh -huh. this, a team magnet <laughs> run jumps some random professor, so Ari and Teriyaki peck his eyes out. Oh! She is kind of bird gang oh, a little bit, right? Yeah. I'm gonna name you Onion. I make it to Restboro, <laughs> and while getting ready to take on Roxanne's gym, Teriyaki kills another Zigzagoon I was about oh to catch. Oh my goodness! What's your problem with Zigzagoons, dude? But it turned out all right because she also Aww. ended up evolving. Onion Are you was sure that Teri evolved? Is that's Teriyaki so cool. a bird or a cat? Because that's like cats, right? Do you know Pokemon evolves? Do you know that? I didn't realize they did in the game. Oh yeah, so like there's evolution trees. That's so, cool. So like Char. Oh wow, I've been saying like Charmander and Charizard. I know that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that I did it in the game, we'll to destroy though. destroy Roxanne with ease, and we got our first gym badge. Exiting Aww. the gym, we catch a glance that Team Magma is up to no good again. Something about the scorching earth or something. And what? this old man exclaims that they stole his Pico. Aww. Here's your dog. Also, you're coming with me. The mayor <laughs> thanks me by turning me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. Alright, what do we got? <laughs> oh! Ugh. Okay, you chomps. Why did, why did After you finding want Steven, it was time to take on Brawly, the next gym leader. Well, I mean, did Ari you think that they look cool? Intimidating. Did you think that the Pokemon looked cool? You no. went, you went, ugh. <laughs> no. That's her reaction. You're like, oh, why did she not want it? I was just disgusted and repulsed. A stone cold killer and easily earned MVP in that fight. Ooh, Things were going well. Two badges bird. in and the team is looking good. On my way to the next city, I caught a tentacle on the beach. Ooh. <laughs> 
Squidward. And after beating Team Magma and Brendan again in Slateport, it was time again to get ready for the gym battle. Her with chicken looks really mean and uh, angry. Uh, teriyaki? But as I was yeah. fighting some trainers, Chomps the Mawile got electrocuted a bit too hard and was killed. Jaden, let's battle. I want to show you how strong. Do you like? Do you like how she's like? Yeah, it just died, and we keep oh, going. Well. It's like we're like. Oh do, well. Do you care? You don't seem to care. No. So should we care? Damn. Whoa. Okay. Ari, this is an electric gym. You're not allowed to fight in here, so you can just wait outside. What? Why? So there's Pokemon have I'm and please guys don't roast me too hard because I again I haven't played since gold but Pokemon have different types and the different types they have are strong and weak against other types uh, so I think I think Ari is flying which is weak to electric got and it. so the gyms are based on types so there's like an electric gym yeah. uh, and a fighting gym so they only fight the ones that make sense yeah. While and, battling the And there's like more challenges to level up Pokemon, so they have like level caps, so you can only fight at these gyms at a certain like if you're over yeah. that level, you can't fight. Are you at the fighting gym. real people? No, they, oh. they, they're gym leaders. Other there's uh emulators people made so you can fight real people though online. Which is cool. And trainers Onion evolved into Breloom, and together Whoa. with Teriyaki, they were able to get another victory. Now nice. we are riding high. Three gym badges in and no main casualties <laughs> with our massive confidence we decided to take on the win straight family's challenge of beating all their family members i had squittered out front to get him some experience but uh, we ran into some troubles with grandma oh no oh god it's gonna do a high jump kick we can take him out but i need a clean switch first Sacrifice Hush Child the Wismer, but honestly, that looks look like the love child between Pikachu and Jigglypuff oh, to me. It does. Doesn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> so sad. that was the safest move to ensure no one else died. Goodbye, Hush Child. Aww. You might be missed. While we were might. heading to Fall Arbor, fighting some trainers, Ari evolved. Oh, look at my Ooh. big bird. Oh, look at you. No. We were almost <laughs> to town, but we had to get through the sooty grass on 113. Oh, jeez. All right, Barf, get in there with the rest of them. I walked into Meteor Falls to see Team Aqua and Team Magma arguing about water and rocks. Can I go? So get over here. <laughs> they kept complaining, and I had to go Whoa. up the volcano they were blocking to fight Maxi, the Team Magma leader. That was a hard fight. Intense. Onion and Teriyaki were able to take out his Mighty Anna and camera up, but his Golbat hit hard. I ended up having to switch in Ari and double team up to win the battle. Not Whoa. the most honorable of strategies, but it worked and we're moving on. On the way down the <laughs> volcano, I ran into a matchup. Oh, hello there, Chad. What? You're a female? <laughs> Did I stutter? We arrived in Apple Ridge Town and started getting through Flannery's gym. During that time, Squidward was almost killed by a fury swiping Kecleon. Fury swipes. He doesn't seem very oh. good. Oh my gosh, that does a lot of damage. Does he still not seem very good? Is this what the game looks like? She brings it to life with her Yeah, animations. this is what the game looks like. It's, wow. Isn't that cool? a good storyteller. But when it came time to battle, he pulled his weight and more. Honestly, with the team, there wasn't much I could have done <laughs> to Flannery's fire Pokemon, but Squidward came in clutch by learning Bubble Beam, and it was all over for her. Woo! Badge four? under our belt. <laughs> Brendan met up with us outside the gym to give us goggles so we could walk in the sandstorms. I found oh. a claw fossil and Anorith was born. I didn't know Aww. what to name it, so my friend named him Gary. Now it was time <laughs> for the fifth Oh, game. the snail. Aww. Oh, the snail. After that makes some sense. training, Chad evolved into Machoke and the Whoa. team was leveled up. I started the battle with Ari and after realizing I was in trouble, Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh oh. Uh, I managed to squeak by with more double teams. Ari was barely able to take out the first slacking, so when the second, stronger uh -oh. one came out, I knew I had to use a different strategy. I brought out Onion to leech seed it and try and get more chip damage in, which worked, but he was also killed by slacking's oh, facade. Onion! I thought he could take. Chad was Onion. able to finish off the rest of the fight, but that was the first death that actually hurt. Yeah. The other two people are like in the afterlife. Or like, the, Thanks, they, bro. Oh, that that great. I'm glad my sacrifice to your cause was very well appreciated. <laughs>
I'm not oh. crying. Someone's just chopping onions in here. Oh. Oh. Every down, there's an up. And Corn stepped up and was ready to fill Onion's spot. While oh. passing through Mauville again, Watson asked us to help him turn off the city's generator. And while down there, I found a Magnemite. You want to come with? <laughs> nice. Okay. We kept on our way, catching Spurky the Electrike, Aww. and while fighting some trainers, Corn sur- What? Why does he have such a weird butt? <laughs> From two very close calls. Squats. He took a sword stance, boosted Fury Cutter by Ninjask, and a misclick from me, which resulted in him tanking a wing attack from a Talo. No, 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 Dude, Corn, I'm so sorry. You're Aww. such a trooper. Good news is Squidward evolved while training, so that's neat. Whoa. We arrived in Fortree City, Whoa. and this was a gym I was really nervous about. Not only did we not have a good team to take on a flying type gym, but Winona's Altaria is notorious for sweeping teams if she sets up too many dragon dances. I went to the grass to train up the- it's, it's, So each Pokemon has different moves, and they function differently with like the- It's like playing a different card in Magic, right? Okay. So like the Pokemon come loaded with like four different cards they, they can, can play. Yeah. And they operate differently and like mess with the stats behind the game. People are really, really like Into cracked it. at knowing all this stuff. I know nothing. I just played level 100 Firestarter, grinded it, played disgusting Pokemon oh when I played. God. But I was also like 10. So the don't, team. It was, I'm not an evil the person. the worst happened. Aww. Corn was killed by Pin Missile from a Zigzagoon. Aww. Wait. Wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Aww. Stop. Do you feel attached to the Pokemon? Yeah. Corn, no, Corn! You monster! How can corn you do is this? Onion is this why you kept trying to kill all the Zigzagoons? I want to yes. think that Corn sacrificed himself because he knew we were at too much of a disadvantage <laughs> going into Minoma's gym, and by opening up a space, we could get the type advantage we needed to stand a chance. With a heavy heart, I brought Zip Zap Zop the Magnemite to the team and realized how much more grinding I was gonna have to do. I had to fight so many Merrells to get Zip Zap Zop on par with the rest of the team. Do you wanna know how many? The move Thunderbolt can be used 15 times before it runs out. And I had to go back to the Pokemon Center almost six separate times to refill it. Meaning Zip Zap Zop killed more than 80 Merrell that were living in that lake. Winona Holy led crap. with Swellow, which Zip Zap Zop was able to take out. But she immediately brought out Altaria, which made me very scared because I know she's got Earthquake on that thing. I didn't have a clean switch, and I knew no one on the team could take two hits from this cloud bird. So I ultimately decided that I'd have to have Zip Zap Zop paralyze it in exchange for his death. Aww. Goodbye, Zip Zap Zop. You weren't here for long, but your efforts will not be in vain. She took like 80 times to upgrade him too. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! How Zip Zap Zop lived the earthquake on 2 HP like a mad lad. <laughs> Corn must have been looking down on us for that one Aww. because there was definitely a 90% chance Zip Zap Zop was supposed to die there. With Aww. that string of luck, I was able to switch Ari in for Zip Zap Zop to predict another earthquake and started chipping away at the Altaria, Woo. which was not going to be easy. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her moves even more powerful, and I was legitimately sweating. But with what little luck we had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance, and that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe that kill. Woo! If that Altaria would have decided to attack at any point, she would have one-shotted anyone and everyone on my team. Aww. Thank you, eye. Corn. You shined your photosynthesis onto us. <laughs> From there, I was able to heal up Zip Zap Zop and sweep the rest of her team. Zip Zap Zop. The sixth gym badge was ours. No deaths, right? <laughs> Outside oh. the safari zone, I found a death skull I was able to catch. Aww. I tried to have Gary on the team. Do you mean that? What? You like you like that Pokemon design? I thought it was cute. He really? Was you usually hate from skulls. The dirt, but he honestly has like no moves that do damage, so I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived in Lily Cove, and I tried fishing on the beach for a Pokemon, but Chad punched the Whalemer I reeled up too hard and what? killed it. We stormed Team Magma's base, and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the None ground- None of them have fought in a long time. Why? 
I don't know. An electrode exploded and almost killed Chad, which was uncalled for. <laughs> After beating their admin, they escaped into a submarine, and I oh. went on to fight the next gym. Tate and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late that I was just a tad underleveled for them. Oh. Um, what they don't happened? have any more than two Pokemon, so I think we should be okay. <laughs> 42! <laughs> Oh! Almost uh -oh. eight levels Sin under? Sin and Zop made a good duo being able to confuse and paralyze them, but Solrock managed to get off a sunny day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face, which totally killed him. Ah. That really sucks. He put Zop. in so much work for the team and really she, carried us. She melted him. Yeah. She melted him. This far. The rest An of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. Squidward came out and together with Sin were able to finish off the so duo, cool? adding us cool on a seventh gym badge. <sighs> All right. How many gym badges do you need to get? How I do you win the game? You you get enough gym badges, then you go fight the elite four. Gee, you're up. Interesting. Uh, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population between Zip Zap Zop and Sperky. I went to Shoal Cave and caught Blubby the Sphiel and Aww. went out to take on Maxi one last time. For some reason, I didn't learn my lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza because I was even more underleveled for Maxi. Mighty Anna. Ah! It doesn't go down? This fight was rough. Chad was able to take out his mighty Anna, but I resorted to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side here because Squidward, Squidward. was killed by a high roll wing attack. No! The way Pokemon works is there's a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time, and it's kind of based on chance. So even though it looked like Squidward could have lived two wing attacks, Maxi was able to get a low roll on the first one and a high roll on the second which was the Aww. death of Squidward. RNG. But it wasn't time to give up. We had to persevere. Which one are you most attached to? Uh, the one she had at the very beginning in the bird. Teriyaki and Ari? They're yeah. both birds. For yeah. Squidward. So you like Ari birds? came in and <laughs> took out the Crobat and lived on one HP when hit Woo! by Camerup's rock slide. It was a tough battle, but we squeaked by. Barely. Damn, yeah. After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were just a bit more underleveled, we would have been murdered. <laughs> Blubby joined the team and we got to work, eventually Whoa. arriving in- that, that was teriyaki fully evolved. Woo! Topics. Okay. Steven and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. Uh -huh. So I went in there, uh -oh. walked up to Groudon, and master balled him immediately. Hey. There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. <laughs> While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc in Celio. Sin beat his Whiskash, and Chad finished off the Milotic. The team was perfect. Wow. And after a- aren't, aren't the designs really cool? Yeah. Obtaining our final gym badge, I knew we were ready for the Elite Four. We got through Victory Road. Wally oh. tried to fight us for the last time, but he just needs to stop. We exited the cave, and there it was. The final challenge. Here we go. Sydney was up first, and honestly, he wasn't a challenge at all. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take care of his team with ease. Phoebe wasn't boom, difficult boom. either, with Sin and Blubby being MVPs. Glacio was a bit tougher. Teriyaki was able to take out her Glalies, and Sperky could handle her Celios, but her Walrein was the big problem. Walreins are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of damage. <gasps> I would know because I have one. <laughs> Chad and she was able to get in a good amount of damage, but she was ultimately killed by Blizzard. Chad. Sin came out to try Oh, Chad, I really like Chad. Yeah. It, but it broke through the confusion. I, I thought Chad made it, I'm bummed. And landed a Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold is a one hit KO move. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level is higher than the user's. But even under all those conditions, it hit and Sin was killed. Two great team members, down and out. Chad was with us for so long he and was. pulled so much weight, and Sin Aww. got us through some really tough battles. Even with those losses, we were able to finish Glacia off and move on to the final Elite Four She's member, got Drake. Drake's got a tough team, Whoa. but we've got a blubby, and she wanted revenge for her fallen comrades. She ice-beamed every single one of Drake's Woo! Pokemon. Just a straight-up massacre. And with that, it was on to the last battle. 
Stephen Stone. I dun, was dun, dun. legitimately nervous. I led with Sperky to take out his Skarmory as quick as possible, and Blubby was able to take out his Claydol and Agron, but then came his Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross is Steven's strongest Pokemon, so I needed to hinder it as Ooh, much as I scary, could before right? it started yeah. doing serious damage. Ooh, I, don't I like knew that. his Metagross had Earthquake, which would definitely take out most of my team. Aww. So I had to have Sperky Kamikaze to get a Paralysis off. Blubby came out again, and after a lot of hard work, finally beat the Metagross by Woo. spamming Surf. Teriyaki Dude, Blubby came out of nowhere and just like MVP'd the like, whole thing, whoa, right? I was able to finish his Cradilly, and his final Pokemon was Armaldo, Gary's final revenge for getting booted from the team. I brought out Blubby because Teriyaki was pretty weakened, and after Aww. realizing she gets two-shotted by him, I knew she was gonna have to die. So with a oh. heavy heart, Blubby pulled off her last surf, getting Armaldo in the oh, red, so and was killed. Teriyaki, the Pokemon who's been with us from the start, yeah. who's seen her friends die in front of her, the OG. Teriyaki. Or you could more accurately say, see, seen her trainer send so many Pokemon to their deaths. <laughs> right. Right? Refused to let any more murder happen. Onion, corn, Zip Zap Zop, Squidward, oh. Chad, Sin, <laughs> so Turkey. A lot of that died. Holy crap. I didn't realize how many Lubby. died. Their zeros and ones won't go down in vain. <laughs> One good kick to the head, ah! and we did it. We completed the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Teriyaki and Let's Ari see. were the only survivors, but the That's whole it? team put it in my team. <laughs> I wonder why you, there's like you, you pick favorites like why I think you know maybe I mean? she like made us attach them. But why did she like them the most? Is it just because they're birds? And a lot of work to know. get us to number one. <laughs> a cheers to the true mad lads. Aww, that was so sweet. So do you like it? Like, would you? I always wanted to play. I just really? never had the opportunity. Yeah, I think this is such a cool way to play. That gonna, ups the stakes immensely. I'm right? gonna expect the game to go like with her animations. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be this little like 2D thing. Oh, there's a new one. There's a new one, Sword and Shield, that is more like it's not like her animation, yeah, but, but 3D. it's 3D. Yeah. That was so cool. I like the storytelling, how yeah. she makes you attach to the characters. Whereas usually it'd be like, nah, it's fine. Well, that's why I think this type of way to play it with this challenge is cool. Because normally with Pokemon, it's just like, oh, okay, I'll just grind levels. You and don't care as much. You're yeah, not... you're just like, I'll just keep trying and I'll keep grinding levels. And if they die, I'll just take them and heal them and it'll be fine, right? Yeah, you don't you don't have the same risk reward. Yeah, exactly. There's no the stakes. Game. Yeah, this is awesome. So this is Jaden's second one in Pokemon Platinum. I don't know when Pokemon Platinum happened. because I. Wow, you're, that's a tongue twister. Let's just so go. So if you're new here, <laughs> hi. I've done this before. Last year, I made a video about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke, and the Aww. game I played in it was Pokemon Ruby. It was fun, so here I am again doing another. But this time I attempted to I'm Nuzlocke. catching a lot of times that Jaden draws the bird's buttholes. A <laughs> lot. Pokemon I didn't Platinum. notice that. I'll explain again super quickly how a Nuzlocke works. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon so you grow more attached to them. If you still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's get started. <laughs> Hoo boy. What if you just what? name them mean things so you don't actually get more attached, you get less attached? Meatloaf. That, does that mean thing? I don't know. It sounds like something you'd eat. Let's I, go. It's my Pokemon <laughs> Platinum Nuzlocke. Teriyaki's also a food. That's true. So is corn. Half the I also oh, named my actual in real life pet after oh, food. Oh, Cookie, yeah. yeah. Did that make you less attached? No. <laughs> Come on. So my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon as soon as possible from this <sighs> Professor Rowan he saw on TV. He drags me out to Route 201 and is about to leap into the tall grass when, hold it! You guys know going into the tall grass is practically a death wish, right? What you're doing is basically suicide. Why does that guy look like every grumpy, like, sheriff in a western? He does, you know? yeah. Insanity. What absolute moronic lunatics you are. <laughs> have you no respect for your lives? Nope. Do you have any Pokemon? No. Do you want some? And yes. like that, I have a Turtwig. I named him Turt and immediately used him to bash in Barry's gym char. I was making my way through the routes, but right as I was about to nab the Shinx I found on 202. Oh. Don't kill that's it. That's cute. No. Oh. Oh. I wanted her to have that so, one. So no Shinx for us. Oh. But that's all right. Shinx isn't that great this early anyway. Then oh. I locked eyes with our first trainer. The first battle. Let's see <laughs> how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level 5 Starly. It's a pretty... 
pretty bird. Oh, oh, oh my no. god. So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost immediately lose my starter to a critical hit. Why do I suddenly have a very bad feeling about this? Uh -oh. If you have a starter and they die in your Nuzlocke before you have any other Pokemon, do how do you just, get any more? Do you just lose the whole thing? I feel like you do. Right? Nevertheless, we kept going onward through Jubilife City, where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the hey. cave above Route 204 and Magikarp on 218. Whoa. Hi, Magikarp. <laughs> your name is Puppy. Just outside Aww. the city, Barry runs up and demands another battle, so I happily bash in his Chimchar again. Aww. And a Starly, too. I kept on my way, eventually arriving in Orberg City and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Cranidos, but Turret landed a crit Razor Leaf and one shot it before it nice. could even do anything. So that's badge number one for us. I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited because if you didn't know, outside the Valley Windworks, you can find Shellos. And if you Aww, didn't know- that was a cute map. Oh, again, I love Shellos. I ran straight to the grass to I get my Shellos encounter and I think this is uh, cuter than that other Pokemon. I'm not gonna pass Aww. up an encounter, so I very depressingly caught the Shinx and named it Failure to <gasps> But it's so it's cute. It's so cute. And my sadness and frustration over not getting a slug. While there, we found Team Galactic messing around, stealing electricity and what? this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt Aww. guarding the door, broke in, beat up the grunts in the building <laughs> until Turd evolved, then found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the corridor, who I was she's scared scary. of because she's got a fat cat that hits like a semi-truck. But I had a plan. <laughs> Back in the Orberg Mines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and hey. I brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would switch him in to buy time and heal up my other Pokemon. Basically, uh, Dwayne was death fodder. Turt took oh. out Mars's Zubat, and when Perugly came out, Kronk plucked off the Oran Berry it was holding. But she got hit pretty hard in the process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before oh. he could get back into it, Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne hey. is ah. fine. He's fine, guys. Don't pull the, the sad nose for Dwayne. He's <laughs> fine. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! All right, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Dwayne gets to live. Somehow, no! when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. No. I love, I love how Jaden will be like, "Yeah, good job, buddy," and then I just imagine the Pokemon just like being horrified, like barely <laughs> surviving. Survive. Look at it. How's the cat scratch up that beast? That's a good question. But you know what? Very strong cat. I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. That's kind of horrifying. It's like, oh wow, I was gonna just let you die. Yeah, what a You kind of impressed me with your pluckiness though, so I'll let Whoa. you live this time. What a legend. Aww. But then I put him back in the box. And, and then she frames it so like wholesomely. I'm I like, know. no, this isn't wholesome. You are cruel. Yeah. In Mount Cornet, I caught a Bronzor I named Big Boy, which I happily added to the team. And right before Gardenia's gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Badge Whoa. number two. We slashed the guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Let's take a look at how that went. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Ah, ah, no! <gasps> but, I mean, that won't do... Huh. Oh, oh, ah! Let's just hit it. Don't crit him. Oh, starter? No way. No. Oh my god. We finally were able to beat her, Woo! but that fight really knocked the wind out of me. I was yeah. shaking on my way back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows up and is like... Look at that hair. Egg? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> even meeting Cynthia wasn't enough to calm my nerves, so Woo! to keep my mind off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start training up Big Boy on Cycling Road. That just looks like a Cynthia coin to me. Or do you ever watch? Yeah. What kind of Pokemon is what that? What is, is it? Have you guys ever watched Metabots? It looks like and Metabots. He died. I've practiced this game and. What? <laughs> So before you push up your anime glasses and tell me that steel is weak to fire, which I know, by the way, the reason I kept Big Boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates his fire weakness. But then he got crit. So, oh. first step. That's I'm so sorry, sad. Big Boy. You never had the opportunity to become oh. a Big Boy. I walked into oh. Wayward Cave. I'm not gonna get emotionally attached to a floating penny, dude. Like, I don't care. You should have caught the. I would have caught the pony. I'm a Gibble. Gibble one. is an amazing Pokemon. It turns into Garchomp, which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game nice. that isn't a legendary. Adding it to the it team. It looks like a dinosaur had sex with a centipede oh. and then strapped, or an like. Alien. You know those things Princess where you Leia. chug beer from? Oh, yeah. Give us such a huge. Huge advantage, and now there is.
is nothing in my way between so that weird and... looking. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The starters kill everybody. And we're moving on. We How do they do that? City. Why do they do that? What? Why do they kill them? I don't understand. She's not trying because oh oh why why are you saying why do they even hit them? Yeah. So in Pokemon, the the lower HP a Pokemon is, the more likely you're able to catch them with your Pokeball. So when you throw your Pokeball, you don't automatically catch it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like the 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 more HP they have, the more they'll fight against the Pokeball. Okay. City where I caught Davido the Ralts, Kronk and Puppy of Why are her things Ooh, attacking? Ooh, Why are her things attacking then? What? Why are her Pokemon attacking? She attacks to try to get the HP low enough. Oh. We had a clean win against. But then Finn. remember it, it does. But you then if it does a critical. Yeah. Call, or die. if it does just because there's RNG for how much damage uh, it does. It. Yeah. Tina and some lady gave us an Eevee. I named me. I love oh, Eevee. We're starting to look better now. I was leveling it's up so Devito against cute. trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey couple. Hey yo, that's us. <laughs> that why we made it in this game. We didn't even know. Uh, let's go into puppy. Get rid of the weasel. Oh no! I want to play. You want to play? It looks fun, right? Ah! You're kidding. Except for the You're dying kidding. part. Danny. And that's why I hate love. <laughs> uh, in came uh, Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 213. Scyther! Some good news. On Route 213, I finally found a Shellos. I named it Swoop, and I loved Aww. it. I loved it so much. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite child, but Swoop was my favorite child, <laughs> and I wasn't apologetic about it. Why is it a different color? I don't know this Pokemon. The other one was pink. Why is this one blue? I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Whoa. Turt ended up evolving too, so together with Kronk and Squoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Whoa. Outside of Pastoria City, I caught a Quagsire named Lol, but when I went <laughs> to get my Great Martian encounter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a Whooper. So now we've got lol and oops in the box. <laughs> then I swept Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now Names a Jolteon, with the TM Thunder Whoa. I bought literally next door. I walked out of the gym and... Whoa. Team Galactic set off a bomb. I ran down the Rude. grunt who detonated it and took him out because he is weak. Cynthia appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along with Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some evil Shakespeare speech about how everything is imperfect, so he's got to blow up the world or something. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> and then he wanted to fight. Puppy took out his Sneasel and I sent out Milk to take care of his Golbat. Milk. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his thunders, but also punch himself in the face. Aww. Milk. To hurt itself in confusion? Oh no. Switch him. No. You can't. You can't be doing this. Switch Trump out and killed the Golbat because milk was being difficult. No. But I gave him a second. Literally, literally dying from poison. And by the no. way, it's confused. Like that, that, that's a status effect. So it's got two status effects. Jaden draws them being lazy. I'm like, what? She's confused. It's like it's Milky. like it's like it's like you're throwing up and you are concussed at the same time. In chance, and he took out the Murkrow. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived in Canalave City, where we barged into Byron's so gym weird. and demolished his Do you think the anime characters that never wear shirts get cold? No. Do they walk around with erect nipples the entire winter? <laughs> like, what do you think? Then Team Galactic sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. So oh. Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant really? Lucas, and I split up to check on the lakes. As I'm strolling past all the flopping Magikarp, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn, who we swept the floor with. After that, we headed over to to Lake Verity where we did the exact same with Mars. There was a part where Turt got crit. And oh wow, I thought she was just drawing a cat. That's, oh, a, that's, that's a, a thick a... kitty, yeah? yeah. Okay. Thick kitty. Oh god. Whoa. But we're fine, he's fine. Finally, we had to go check up on Barry at Lake Acuity and after trekking through six feet of snow for Whoa. like a mile, we get there to find Barry at the top of a cliff like, ha ha ha, you can't climb rocks. Come back when you can <laughs> climb rocks, loser. Oh no. I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them, but Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against, which, you know, nervousness rising. Not only was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the main threats on our team were her Obama Snow because it hits like a truck and sets up hail, and her Frostless because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with snow cloaks. That one looks like a drawing of ovaries, doesn't it? it? Does. I am double teams. Like very scary angry ovaries, right? <laughs> and then just sweep my team. That's what ovaries look like after menopause. Ah! I walked in, 
took a deep <gasps> breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel, and Scoop took out her Pile of Swine, almost dying in the process. I like that And then one. she finally brought out the big bad Obama Snow. Since it's Grass Ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know we could... Anyway, oh, I wasn't what? sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. How does a Gyarados learn Fire Please Blast? Please kill it. Please. It's quad. It's quad. <gasps> what? what? Eventually, Puppy took it out, but that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Last but not least, Frostlass. I wanted to have Scoop rain dance to get rid of the hail so Frostlass's snow cloak isn't activated, but since Scoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't gonna work out super great. Favorite However, child. since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. I like Failure. Yep. Sorry, little guy. Failure looked up at the looming Aww. death that was Frostlass in front of her. And Aww. as I healed up Scoop, Failure was killed in its blizzard. It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to that the team. Death hurts. It had no choice! It had no choice! I like how I'm where I'm sad because it's the cute looking one that died. All the other deaths were just like That one was but so we're like, this cute. one's a cute. You look like kitty. a puppy died. A puppy? Isn't it a cat? Like a puppy. Came out. Hold up. I That's a babe. Oop, failure that's was like killed in this blizzard. Anything, it's really unfortunate we had to resort to it. For sure, that's a cat, right? Whatever. Let's just keep going. What? It's a cat, right? It has to be a cat, right? But I give failure a Bro, I love how she stepping draws up Pokemon, and surrendering though. its life to the team. Scoop came out, got off the Don't rain. Don't pretend to be sad. You threw that to its death. I know. Dance, and after a close battle, was able to pull through. We won. But it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for failure, oh, the true failure. MVP of the fight. Gone, but not forgotten. Now we could climb the rocks to Lake Acuity, and when we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping down <laughs> his face, crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter, who looks at me and is like, See ya, I'm going to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> HQ? Uh... I'm gonna go to Veilstone. We start running through the base <laughs> trying to find Cyrus, but when fighting this scientist... Psychic. Uh-oh. Remember she Porygon shows us nothing good happened. me out. It is way too powerful, way too Whoa. bulky. Hey, that that Pokemon comes up in uh, the Zelda one. In what? When you throw Pokeballs in Super Smash Brothers, it comes up. Oh. And it, I, I never know what it does. It's way too... You know what weird. I'm talking about? Mm -mm. I do like Porygon too, though. So the Pokeball like you can throw. Oh, in Super Smash? Too. Yeah. Very cute. What? 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 <laughs> oh. No! I don't feel bad. No! I don't feel bad because I'm so salty about the failure. failure. I'm like, this is karma. You, yeah. you you killed failure for no reason except to keep Swoop alive. And now Swoop died. Oh, Swoop. That's karma. Yeah, I'm we indifferent. I only care about failure. I wasn't okay. <laughs> Turt came out and curb stomped the Porygon 2 out of vengeance, but to put it lightly, I, care about I wasn't taking that too well. My heart is breaking. I'm like actually sad. <laughs> but life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. Aww. With an intense, blood curdling thirst for revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's room. <laughs> Fight! Shrimp and Milk took out his team in no time. I snatched his Master Ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! And like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Coronet because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch <laughs> up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. How then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have Why no- Why you kill them so they can't make any more Pokeballs? No, you don't You don't attack the evil people. You just beat up their Pokemon slaves. Idea you how just we keep found doing that. You never, over and have yeah, perpetuity. Yeah, you never touch the people. You just beat up their Pokemon. It's all here. And it's like, I'll help. Wall it's takes like, out both like Bronzers, you only Marge's dog Brugley, fights. and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. Uh-oh. Well, Dude, Gold You're really doing a lot for the team, aren't you? I like... Oh well. my god, no, it has Giga Drain? No. Uh-oh. No, oh no, oh no. It was a oh. crit! 
Not only did I not know their goal bat had Giga Drain Dude, the, for some reason. Consistently, the goal bats seem like big problems, right? Yeah. But it also got a crit. So I was starting Aww. to feel bad. But then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new member, we're in I like trouble. Cynthia. We finish up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world is imperfect, blah, blah, blah. Everything <laughs> must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina. A hole opens a rip in space leading to the distortion Ooh. world. And I'm kind of just standing off to the side, twiddling my thumbs like, Cynthia, please don't shove me in there without my consent. Cynthia, can I, can I go? Uh -oh. I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Let me, me go. Oh, oh, hey. I'm free. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like, hey, yo, can I just take a potty break real quick that before we close. jump into demon dimension? That was close. Let, get me out of here. Goodbye. I'm sorry, lol. We just got you, and then you died. But luckily, Aww. remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a Yanma? It's time, oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star <laughs> who will carry us to victory. We got Aww. oops leveled up, came back to the spear pillar where Cynthia like was just oops. sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy and the late guardians are telling me to push boulders into holes. And suddenly I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. Oops took out his Hound Doom and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to Milk. But I was very terrified because Milk Cyrus's Gyarados oops. has Earthquake. So if Milk misses his Thunder here, so he can get Gyarados can learn Fire Blast and Earthquake, but it's Water type. I don't I'm know. I'm so confused by Gyarados. And Milk is notorious for missing his Thunders. Milk! But it hit. Milk Yay! lives another day. He also took out Cyrus's Crobat and Haunch Crow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, and suddenly, it's just me and the Angel of Darkness itself, Giratina. Ah! I didn't like that sound effect. That took a dark twist. Whoa! What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What just happened? She's gonna make herself a Pokemon? I threw the Master Ball, and like that, it was over. I saved the world. Oh, Ma Master Ball's the only one that catches automatically. But you only get oh. one, you only get one in the whole game. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now to get back to my gym badges. <laughs> I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making my way through Volkner's gym. I know he's the eighth gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed <laughs> because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do anything about it. It's not like, like they oops. have Giga Drain or anything, right? Uh, they didn't, I checked. Oops was <laughs> just Earthquake and everything. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't crit. If you crit Giga Impact, that would be really un... Holy... But it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Yay! Victory Road we went, where we caught ourselves a Gabite I named Flakes. Would have been nice to have one, I don't know, near the beginning of the game, say, in Wayward Cave, you know. But whatever. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Ah. Uh... Do whatever she cuts like to the gameplay. It's always bad. It's always a bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! You're kidding. Oh, I like sacrifice. puppy. Sacrifice. They killed Strapator too. Oh, dear. I like puppy. And that's puppy. the straw that broke the camel's back. After puppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. The Elite Four here goes pretty hard, so I couldn't go in willy-nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few Ooh. hours of calculations and research, what? I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility Cause, of Because the problem is it's hard because the gym leaders are all one type, right? So you fight the gym leader, you can make your team around beating one type. 
Okay? Yeah. So you beat all the gyms, then you go to the Elite Four. The problem is the Elite Four, you don't get to take breaks in between fights. Yeah. So you need to do like four or five fights, different in a types. Row. Yeah, but yeah. it's but they each have different types. Yeah. So it's like fire, then water, then electricity. So you Does have that to be diversified. Sense? Yeah. I added flakes to the team in place of puppy and with a heavy heart left milk and cronk behind as I brought C the zone and Colgate the Togu kiss I hatched from the eggs Cynthia gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring milk and cronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. And it doesn't well, negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team, and I wouldn't have made it this far without them. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the other side. I, like I took a step towards I mean, the oops. doors of no return, Lol's and immediately dead. got interrupted by Barry, who wanted to have one last fight. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, what happened here? That was what? really disturbing. Welcome. This is the Elite Four. Maybe the battle she has to fight herself. Why was there a flashback? That was weird. Starts and C takes out here. Aaron Zan, Mega, and Vestriquin. Oops takes out his Rapion, and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Colgate? Next up is Bertha. Colgate? Uh... What? Bertha loves ground types, but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a horrible shiver when her Rhyperior came out, but things went well. <laughs> On to Flint. Nice. That was cute. Oops. I like Oops. She Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily Fire had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, Dead fire we're on types. to the last member, Lucian. No, the only now, Pokemon has... that die are Jaden's. All the other ones are like uh -huh. alive. She hasn't had much time to shine in these fights so far. So I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet punched everything. Woo! Proud of you, Shrimp. Yeah. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to Cynthia. crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. I took a deep breath. Things are going it's surprisingly well. It is, it is Cynthia, right? I don't know how to feel about Why it. Why is she bad? But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Another thing, when, when people in the, like, do Nuzlocks, Cynthia is known to wipe their teams and they lose. So they get all the way to Cynthia, and they have, they lose. Okay. Because she's the final boss of the game. I think. But why is she helping Cynthia. the whole time then? She leads with spirit too. It's because it's, it's Pokemon. It's like, because... It, she cause betrayed her. It's not betrayal. Because remember, it's like, um... It's like in, 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 in Pokemon games, Pokemon battling is like a sport that they do for fun. So it's like, yeah, there's these side plots about saving the world that Cynthia was helping her with. But then they're like, okay, let's get back to basketball. It's like if Michael Jordan was helping, I don't know, LeBron James, like, save the world. But then they have a 1v1 game at okay. the end for Which has glory. no weaknesses. So I sent out Turt to hit it as hard as possible. Flakes Did takes out her Togekiss, and Aww. then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the toughest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise. And rightfully so. That thing was He's made by scary. Satan himself and I'm sure even he fears what he has created. I immediately switched to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. Aww. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only hope. I feel like Oops is like if the stoner kid at the back of class was yeah. like inexplicably just really? amazing. Yeah. yeah. But then Oops is crit. No. So I feel like Oops is like the stoner kid at the back of class if he was just dead. That was it. Nothing Oops. on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, like they Oops. couldn't do much damage back. I sat there in disbelief knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. And the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in no. a little bit of damage, but... This is how it ends? She was killed. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. It's hopeless but that's the at this same point. Pokemon. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes Isn't outsped it? Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. What? I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. Suddenly, there was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few Thunderbolts. Flakes took out the Lucario what? with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on Squoop, and we all know what happened there. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Flakes went in for the Dragon Claw, and the battle was over. Yay! Oh, I, th I, I thought, thought she was, was gonna I die. thought she was setting up to lose. I thought she was too. Oh, wow. 
Uh, Cynthia is congratulating. Why does it feel so sad still, though? It feels weird. A sudden feeling Somebody of died. overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense, it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. What? Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two, how do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world, that was me too. Those things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape? Even I don't when you like try that. Whenever I think about like multidimensional worlds or anything like that, that freaks me out. You to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made. Wow. But I don't know why, that just made me really emotional. Aww. For some reason, like, I don't think I can ever was a lot of deaths, yeah. I don't know what ending was meant Jade for me. is such a good storyteller. And I don't think I ever will. Well, that's not a happy ending. Yeah, how did the Pokemon game give Jade an existential crisis? I don't like that. Wow. Sad. Okay, that was sad. That was it's sad. Really she sad. won, but it was sad. I'm really sad. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, <laughs> next time it's happy. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon yep. faints, it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it Aww. to set up for emotional trauma. <laughs> this time, we're doing something a bit different. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's technically called a Soul Link, but Aww. no one knows what that means. So basically, you and person two play the same Pokemon game at the same time, following the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which means if my starter dies, player what? two's starter also dies. That this makes sense. And they so can't do anything harder. about it. Plus, we can only have one- Is this one a team building exercise or a team breaking exercise? This seems like very stressful. I feel like I, this would I would be, be furious with you if you killed my Pokemon. But let's be honest, my Pokemon would die and kill his Pokemon. And he'd be I'm, furious with I'm, me. I'm not, baby, I'm not good at Pokemon. I won when I was like seven by upgrading my Charizard to 100. Typing for both of our teams combined. I'm not so good at this game. if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. And Cherry on top. All Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. <laughs> and maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. So with all these new rules in place, I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to adapt, improvise, and strategize all at the drop of a hat. And who else other than- Can you po play Soul Link like within the actual game? Like, is it a feature yeah. or is it- I, I believe it's modded. Like even the random Pokemon, I believe people take the source code for like the games and they mod them and release them online, which is very hard in my very peon brain thinking, I think. <laughs> Pokemon master himself, Jacob Alpharad. Hey! Who, I even at this point in time has a 50-50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's our Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to F see what mom. Pokemon he's got for us because we don't know, they're random. In case you forgot what I just said, we stroll up to him and he pats Jacob on the head and goes, <laughs> Here, choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. That's actually kind of sick. Like, that's way more fun than having the three, like, designated starters, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I feel like this randomized aspect makes it way more interesting of a game, right? All right, what do I get? Why not make Eariotus? <laughs> awesome. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we name them Franklin. On our Both? way to talk to Mr. Pokemon, oh, oh, Jacob runs linked. into a Regirock in a random patch of grass, which just flat out explodes on him. No one died, luckily, but also, oh my god. We get Traumatized. an egg and immediately Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, could you? <laughs> On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenges us to a battle with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win, scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's wow. license, social security, target gift card on the ground in front of us for the world to see. Dude, get your craps together. You Convenient. can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, <laughs> Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes. Yes. We saw his info. Now here we get to name our <laughs> rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocker has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocks so far, some of his comments were 
more critical than others. She's talking about us, right? Because we're oh, filming yeah. this reaction yeah, and Jaden just has time link or some shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> and directed at one of we're us. We're professionals, other, Mr. right? Mr. Policeman. <laughs> his name is Jan. <laughs> Hi, Jan. <laughs> Let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out. Anyway, a neighbor <laughs> takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a Pokemon, runs into Articuno, catches it in a Pokeball in That's the green, sick. and turns to us and goes, see, just like that. <laughs> they give us some Pokeballs and we can finally start our journey. Is it Articuno? I think Articuno is one of the prettiest Pokemon. It's beautiful. It's a legendary bird Pokemon. Us and our first encounters are Barboach oh. and Houndoom. This Ooh. would have been awesome for Jacob if he could catch the dang thing. Oh, Since no. we only had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what. And we ended up not getting that pair. Aww. But you know, it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Far. So they have to get them at the same time. Like they both have to get them. I, I was wondering it. the same thing. They have to catch the same Pokemon to get it. I don't Bitch. know. I don't know. That Jacob accidentally kills. Or <laughs> Geodude Gyarados. Hey. That Jacob accidentally kills. Oh, no. oh wow. I rogue Charizard. <gasps> that Jacob accidentally no. kills. Hey, why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. <laughs> yeah. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But Charizard. finally in the ruins of Elf, we managed to catch a new pair. Sand slash camera upt. Not bad at all. We try to name them Michael, but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michels. <laughs> then we <laughs> catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also they pretty They both cool. misspelled that's it like so independently. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Mainly for just me. We started combining the two Pokemon to create their names. So we Aww. ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into a trainer who had a freaking Palkia on his team. Fun fact, did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness. Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and salamence. No other dragons, just salamence. So Jacob and I started joking around every time we saw a Palkia. Oh no, if only I had a salamence. Uh oh, don't have a salamence over here. It was kind of strange how many Palkias we ran into, but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we Aww. take on Faulkner, the first gym leader, who has Kyogre Bronzar and Ooh. Metagross Dragonair. Ooh. Oh my god. After a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I don't know how that happened, but hey, everyone's all right. Oh, he's gonna take himself out. Oh, oh. oh my god. Hey. How about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, hello, Shuckle Suicune. Oh. That Jacob accidentally kills. Oh. We challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Challenges us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in the forest, who someone accidentally kills, and make our way to Goldenrod, <laughs> where there's a security guard. Jacob's just running around like, here I, I go, killing again. Absolute, I, I think these Pokemon are all like absolutely really? ridiculous. Yeah. They look powerful, at least, right? Which yeah. is, let's be honest, that's the entire basis of our understanding how good a Pokemon <laughs> is we're like wow that one's drawn scary it looks yeah. like a space cowboy god probably really good right guard that'll give us both a Pokemon he hands me a Porygon too which I'm ecstatic Aww. about turns to Jacob and gives him Regigigas which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides actual god. We beat Whitney and in the national park find Piplup Flappy. Why, why can't they use normal type? They both can't use the same. Oh. Which we named Plap. I pitched to Jacob that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair, so he essentially switches Beedrill with Flaffy, which we shake on. Welcome to the team, Plaps. Aww. Really? They're and then better? my Plap immediately almost gets killed. Ah, uh, almost. It's cute. Jaden. Ah! Uh, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Do you hear Jaden. Jaden. Sorry, my bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. But, no. yeah, I ended up killing that one. Well, that's your first Look, time. I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. We kind of <laughs> named them Dilly Doo and could have added them to the team as Death Fodder, but we ended up forgetting to. Which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake, but what's the worst that could happen? Who needs Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke? <laughs> Jacob and I make it to Ecritique and walk into the Burn Tower. As we are about to go down there, Jan uh -oh. runs up and is like, you're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are. And we're like, no, we killed him a while ago but he still wanted to battle probably to show off the mew he somehow found we beat him Ooh. yet again go downstairs scare off the dogs and go challenge morty jacob didn't have any trouble morty. for the team morty had for him but for me i was having a bit of a harder time because he had a lugia 
which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with plap and pray I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. <laughs> we arrive in Olivine and climb the giant lighthouse. Almost this seems way harder. Like a Nuzlocke already seems really emotionally seems difficult. Really, really Having someone hard. else there seems way worse. Yep. It's like, well, I won my fight. How about you? Oh, you're still in yours? Well, let's no. see which of my Pokemon you're going to kill, <laughs> right? That seems, I feel like we would be so petty with this. Oh, we would. It would probably be funny to watch, but I feel like it would we be... We would be actually We'd, snippy. like, get pissed, Falling yeah. Falling to our literal death along the way. You have to actually be a good... Uh -oh. You have to be, like, a good person to do this and not be, like... We'd be so angry, we I feel like. We just fell. Reach Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Cianwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Cianwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch them. Hey. Obama Tar joined the team immediately. And suddenly we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. Nice. Also a random guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. I Finally, know what Mewtwo is. I'm the one with the legend now. But we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. Aww. All of this sudden, Mewtwo is a grass type. What? Oh no, Weeping Bell's a grass type. Shared oh. luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident, which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. Uh oh. Specifically by a black belt martial artist, gym leader <laughs> Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. Ah. For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, <laughs> which I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail, damaging every Pokemon, <laughs> including my own. That's not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I even made a, a teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it. Snow is gonna kill one of my Pokemon. Kingdra uh -oh. goes down and Chuck's only other Pokemon. He's only got two is Frostlass, who, if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak makes the Pokemon 20% harder to hit if there's hail. You want to know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Wow. Three of which being Mamoswine. You want to know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold Soul Silver? 493. Now, I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? This is such a great She uses animation. Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind has a 10% chance to boost every single stat of the user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. What? After a lot of strategizing, uh -oh. we both uh -oh. decided the best option for us would be to send in Mychil as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only one that can really do anything at this point. Aww. And what happens? Please don't get another stat boost. You're, he's good. He's so good. No, he's, he's no, not. No. Oh my. Frostlass crit one shots Michael as soon <laughs> Yeah, not as even close to being good, right? He comes out. Our first deaths. Oh. Poor camera up. He was so proud for making it out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got clap <laughs> healed up and basically started Death heal stalling, mode. which sure isn't a noble strategy, but. T t t Come on. After literally struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally, Frostlass goes down. That's so stressful. Finally. Holy Wait, gosh. so what, which one of his died? His Pokemon? The, 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 the camel one with the volcano on its back. Oh. Jacob practically drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. <laughs> we decided to add a pair we caught back on Route 35, which was Charmeleon Donphan, named hey! Dorfan, a fantastic yeah. duo. I was admittedly, Aww. And I think justifiably still really salty about what we just went through, <laughs> but Jacob convinced me that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to Olivine to yeah. feed Amphi the medicine that we picked up so Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. Whoa. Wait, so they got, they ran around getting her medicine so that she would fight them. Yes. What? Oh my Dude, god. Dude, JRPGs are wild with some of their quests, right? Uh, <laughs> yep. Look at R2 screens real quick. <laughs> nah, it's alright. She also had a Geoxys. We headed to Mahogany Town. That's the one where I said space cowboy alien god. Ah. That's the one where I'm like, that one looks scary. You're right, it does. adding Nidoran and Beberyl named Beryl to the team. So and cute. in the Lake of Rage, Which Jacob one, cut a Kyogre yeah. paired with my Swalot. We never used this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approach the glistening shadow of the lake beast, activate the encounter, and find a shiny Baneerian Dawn fan. Not you know, the best, but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't Aww. hurt to cat. Oop, I killed it. 
That's again my bad. Sorry. Oh. Lance walks up to us. Why does it look like a baby? It looks so. It looks like, like a little, little baby. Bunny yeah. She goes, Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist. This, all her bad people have like red hair. He's not a bad person. Why are you why are you stereotyping people because they have red hair, huh? He kicks down the door to. The so what we're learning from this is the he Pokemon. He looks like a bad person. First of all, the, no, no, he looks like a king because he's got red hair. Second of all, and what we learned from this is the Pokemon company hates gingers. Uh, now I feel targeted. The Mahogany Town 7-Eleven kills one of the guys in there and bad. runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out no! any living organism he finds down yes! there. Yes, I told bad you that. No, those are bad guys. That's a gang. He's beating up gangs. What, you think? Classic Lance. We decided to copy him and beat up all the executives oh, in their power generator. Right before we fly to Goldenrod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. See? We were getting a bit too See? comfy though, and as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, <laughs> Obamatar was killed by a golem's earthquake. No. Oh no. That was a really bad blow and stung much more because we weren't paying attention. Aww. But we did have oh. to move on. Especially Dude, Jaden is so not salty. I, <laughs> Dude, I, she's so I nice. So she said we more. weren't paying attention. Yeah. Not Jacob was eating his fucking chicken sandwich <laughs> and killed my Pokemon. Actually, since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight, we shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop so he would uh, calm down and hair. stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass Corfish, which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. Uh. You. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune Coon and an Az Elf. What? <laughs> we arrived and took on Claire. My favorite part is that Jacob's shorts are so short. <laughs> so every time he's moving around, he just looks like so <laughs> effervescent, <laughs> right? Who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at Whoa. this point I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of our team was pretty much a pushover oh, for both of us. Claire's a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers. So we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. What? So now we can head to the Elite Four. <laughs> hey guys, uh -oh. I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecritique. <laughs> uh, so we enter the Ecritique Theater and start what? fighting the women. And the second girl for me sends out Ambipalm. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> didn't pay attention to. And Ambipalm double hit no! killed Franklin. Uh -oh. Our starters died. Oh! Dude, that was really no. sad. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. Flower not crown. alive anymore. They were with us through everything. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. That's so sad. Man. Jacob's Jan's gonna what make so is. much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still <laughs> in the morning, the last kimono girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to leave and the girls are all, no, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. He's Which already got one? three. So I head to Hill <laughs> Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And what Jacob legends separate? do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. <laughs> Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch <gasps> the water and move bark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake, but Entei himself. Entei! Oh. And Dodo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think he just kills Hello, it? Hello, Dode. No. That's going in the box because fire types. Uh. We catch Cascoon Regirock in Victory Road, and heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind us, and I iconically say, this is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Not Charizard. <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? Oh. That's not great. No. <laughs> I killed not. Him Come on. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. They're so much nicer to each other. Oh, they cut it out, right? Yeah. Uh. Starfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym, and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before Charizard. the Charizard. Ah! We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, and immediately bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, oh. we ended up with this. <laughs> Ampharos and Polion, Bibarel Nidoqueen, Beautifly Cradley, Dodrio Entei, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. 
I know, I know. Wow, Jaden, super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei and Jacob has a beautiful eye. Look, <laughs> this is the best we could do, I promise. Tell him, Jacob, tell him. <laughs> anyway, big deep breath. Here we go That's into so the unknown depths of the Elite Four. There's definitely more space cowboy alien gods on Jaden's oh team, right? Bill, Koda, sure. and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed right past them. Ah! Everything was going great. Yay! This is fine. Yeah, done. Hmm? Yeah, he's... Oh, that oh. monkey's creepy to me on top, right? I don't like and it. And it's a kind of creepy monkey, huh? Yeah. Oh, I don't God. like it either. And it killed something uh, earlier. Uh, <gasps> it's fine. I win these. On the other hand, Woo. Karen was not as nice. No, I just mean, what if he does any charge move? Oh. Okay, he just did cross chop. He's dead. It's fine. Oh. I was safe to fly him. I'm just paranoid. Oh my god. No, oh my no, god. no. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no. Guys, we're so sorry we got you killed in the first like 15 minutes of having you. We that ended up getting quick. out of the battle with no more casualties, but facing oh. Lance with a team of four each is really not ideal to say the least. But we walked up to him nonetheless. Whether we win or lose here. See? Bad guy. He's not bad guy. He's just the head of the Pokemon. Like the Elite Four are not bad guys. They Unless you bad count in like my mind. they're bad in your mind. Yes. Well, I mean, like to be fair, Nuzlocke does really make it feel a lot more like you know cartoon dog seem fighting. Evil. But <laughs> this is our last battle. Look at he that. He leads with Fion and Ledian, which we were both like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob was up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, Licky Licky, Zapdos and Plessel. And even Woo. though it's a pretty stacked team, he was holding his own and getting through them really well. On my end, I was dealing with a giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually. And what does he Woo. send out next? Palkia. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. I could really use a Salamence right about now. <laughs> This is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. And what happens? No. He gets Spatial Rend Crit one shot, turn one. No! I am in a lot of trouble. Mewtwo. I took so much. Well, why didn't they do that in the Pokemon movie then? He was causing a ruckus and they could have just done Spatial time getting work. past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so all he could do was watch this <laughs> massive <laughs> of sidelines. I sent out Dilly Doo to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And uh -oh. my god was I lucky because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dilly Doo and the run was over. <gasps> And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. Yeah, it's I was so away. proud. The pair that we caught so early on and deemed as death fodder was the one saving us. We're so sorry for doubting you. Isn't that a beautiful lesson? Dilly yes. Doo. Thank you for sticking Aww. by us and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's team, might I remind what? you. What? Plap took out his sand slash, which stunk. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf and killed him with Metal Burst. Oh my goodness! I was in shock with that one. That was our second- Is there a limit to how many Pokemon you can go into these final rounds with? Uh, so there's like a limit of Pokemon you can have, which I think is like eight? It's six or eight, I can't remember. Do you just get rid of the ones or you put them in storage? They go in storage, Despair. yeah. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and Revenge finished the Bastiodon, and Lance's last Pokemon was big ol' hard hitting tanky frickin' Azumarill. I sent it's Dilly Doo back out because- I know, I can't tell. I can never tell if she's being sarcastic or not. <laughs> I don't some know. some Pokemon look so threatening and they don't do jack. And then I some know. Pokemon just look like cute and unassuming <laughs> and she's like, this is a god and I... it's gonna kill everything. And I'm like, what? are you joking or not, Jaden? Cause you're funny. Immediately. But I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> and started the chipping game again. Uh, if that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself, Whoa. which turned this fight from, uh, to, ah, uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes. Wow. I slap him, he slaps back much harder, and then heals, and then I heal. Oh. But eventually, <laughs> Dilly Doo wins the stalling battle, and Azumarill goes down. Dilly Doo! An unpredictable turn Yay. of events. Dilly Doo saved us from utter defeat. Dilly Doo! What an adventure we just went on. Insane encounters, insane bullcrap, so friends, death, bullying, 
and the Dilly Doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. Jayden's I quite funny. literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. I feel like Jacob just like danced through died. Them. Holy, Holy crap. crap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Let's 12. because you have twice as 14 people. Pokemon Look at the little died. beaver one. It's so cute. Aww. Except you. What? Because that killed her uh, other Pokemon, remember? Uh-huh. Wasn't that cool? That was really cool. Oh, that seems so much harder. I, I, I don't want to do that one. I would be too upset. I'm the kind of person, if you're on my team and you mess up, I'm going to yell at you. But I'm also the kind of person that if I'm on your team and I mess up, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I feel like we would actually get upset at each other the first couple of times. But I think the other person would feel so bad that I think that we would not. Because, like, I, I think I would might cry. Have you guys played it? I think this would make me cry. You know how attached I get? Like, yeah, I especially cried. Especially if you have to name dude, them. Dude, I cried in Shrek 2 when Puss in Boots is like, go on without me. <laughs> I cry every time. Like, if I watched it now, I would cry. I think I would cry doing Nuzlocke oh, so man. much. But we should play. I that would be fun. I think it sounds so cool. What? How do you learn more? And what one would be best to start with, guys? Yeah, how do you even start learning about the Pokemon and yeah. knowing how to play? Because I feel like... Do you just Google the strengths and weaknesses? It sounds like they do. It sounds really cool, really intricate, really interesting. And I think I'd be I'd be super interested in trying this. We really think we want to get into like this whole Pokemon thing. So please, guys, if there's other cool like Pokemon YouTube videos, please suggest them. How you even start to learn and understand about the game, please let us know. This is really sick, and we always appreciate we, we get to find out some really cool new shit on the internet. So thank you, guys. <laughs> we love you all. Have a beautiful day. I'm Wesley. I'm Stephanie. Bye.